What up everybody? <laughs> Today we are continuing our little mini series on biomimicry. That is where scientists and inventors get inspiration for products to solve everyday life from nature. So on this little series, we've already talked about how wind turbine blades and fan blades have been improved by studying the fins on humpback whales. And today we're gonna be super inspired by slugs. <laughs> Backing up a little bit before we even start talking about slugs, let's talk about something that scientists are bad at. Scientists are bad at trying to come up with glues that work well in water or if they get wet and work well when something moves or is flexible. So think about if you put a band-aid on your elbow, for example. Over time, as you keep moving your elbow, that band-aid is gonna fall off. It's really hard when you've injured your elbow or knee or like a knuckle on your finger to get a band-aid to stick because those areas are joints and are always moving. In addition, if you go in the shower or take a bath with a band-aid on, or even wash your hands if you have a band-aid on your hand, that band-aid is also probably easy, going to fall off really easily because the adhesive in band-aid doesn't really hold up well to flexibility and it doesn't really hold up well to being wet. So I'm gonna show this real quick where I'm going to super glue together two of these little clips. So this one is gonna happen outside of water, oh geez. I don't even actually know if these clips will glue together. I just couldn't figure out something small to glue together. And I'm gonna try to glue, I'm gonna get these guys wet, and then I'm gonna try to glue them together. And then after I glue them together, maybe, I'm gonna stick them back down in that water. So we're gonna revisit that in a couple of minutes after it loose had a chance to dry. But when it comes to dealing with adhesives that are wet or flexible, you may be wondering, why do we even care? But turns out the human body, most specifically inside of the human body, is a pretty wet, pretty slimy, and pretty flexy movie place. So if we wanna create any adhesive specifically for like surgery or medical types, we need something that can stick to wet things, can stay stuck to wet things even when they're still wet, and can also deal with movement. But because it's also the human body, we need something that's non-toxic. So there's a lot of surgical glues out there that are made from like, there are a lot of glues out there that are made in similar chemistry to super glue, but they're toxic to the body. So we don't want that in there. And super glue also, if you've ever used it or are familiar with using it, is not very flexible. If you have two things glued together by super glue and try to bend them, the glue doesn't bend along with it, it's gonna snap. So scientists turn to a most strange source of inspiration to solve this problem, slugs. Because guess what? Slugs are wet, slugs are sticky, slugs are slimy, slugs are all sorts of things, and their slime are all sorts of things that scientists want in a surgical glue. So a scientist by the name of Dr. Jian, Jianu Li, hoping I'm saying his name right, and then uh, Dr. David Mooney over working at Harvard and their labs respectively, bioengineers, came up with this glue inspired by slug slime. It's not made exactly from slug slime. It's made from algae that has very similar properties to slug slime. And they have been using this kind of gelatin-like patch to actually try to heal like tissues inside of our bodies and stuff like that. So they have managed to repair uh, livers and holes in hearts, and they've even had it interact with animal or with human cells, and it didn't cause any adverse reaction bleh, to human cells because it is non-toxic, which is amazing. Let's take a quick look at how our super glue did now. So now my clips are pretty stuck together, the ones that are dry, but if I try to bend my clips again, like I mentioned, super glue is not very flexy. It can snap them apart. And let's take a look at the ones that were wet and then that got soaked underwater. And the glue is still wet and it didn't stick together at all. So having like super glue is super powerful, but it's not powerful enough underwater. So having a new adhesive made from like slug slime is actually a humongous step in surgical medical adhesives. And it does take a really long time for things to go from like the lab development phase to actually being used on humans. Thank goodness we want rigorous testing on toxicity and functionality before we use on humans. 
So there is a whole range of potential applications for this and my most recent update I could find on lab work being done on this slug, slime inspired glue, came from a couple weeks ago, actually a published paper exploring its uses in neuroscience and gluing the brain back together. So for the future of medicine and surgical applications, this slug slime inspired glue has great potential, which is I think just super cool. So I hope today you enjoyed learning about slug slime and how it inspired hopefully a new trend in surgical techniques and helping to improve the lives of many patients. Um, our next video is going to be about termites. So please stay tuned for that next Tuesday. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. We've got two more videos left in our biomimicry mini series. Uh, and have a great day and keep it sciencey.